Hey guys, it's Sarah. Today I will be reviewing the Scrubbing Bubbles Toilet Cleaning System Fresh Brush Starter Kit. Uh, this is in the citrus scent. I'm not sure if they have other scents, but this is the only one that I've ever seen. Uh, this comes with, this is the starter kit, like I said. It comes with the 19 inch wand, four refills, and one stand. So basically this is a toilet wand with disposable pads. It says they are flushable. I'm not sure I'll be flushing them, but I did a little bit of research and they're supposed to break down similar to the way that toilet paper does. Um, but I, I don't know if I'm gonna be flushing them. But anyway, I really wanted to give this a try. Uh, I typically use a regular brush for my toilet and whatever cleaner that I want to use. Uh, I think it's actually pretty, uh, I think it's a lot cheaper that way um, and less wasteful, but if you're not someone who cleans your toilet every day like me, uh, it can tend to build up and get a lot more dirty and I can see the convenience in using a pad once and throwing it away um, and not having that, you know, germ ridden brush hanging around. So. Alright, I'm going to get started. I also wanted to say that I am planning on reviewing the Clorox Toilet Wand as well. I have used that one in the past, but it's been quite a long time. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. But uh, today I will be trying this one, and they are a bit different. Um, and also guys, I made my toilet super dirty for you, and you have never seen it like this. So stick around and you will see in just a second. Okay, so here's the mess I made for you guys. Um, disclaimer, this is not poo. <laughs> this is actually like dirt and makeup and ashes and stuff that I just threw in here to make a mess. Um, so yeah, my toilet's pretty disgusting and we're gonna see how well this works because I typically um, do reviews and my toilet's not that dirty and I know you guys like seeing things go from dirty to clean so we're going to be uh, testing this out on a very dirty toilet bowl. Okay so let's see what we got here. Here is the wand. The flushable refill pads and I assume this is the stand. So How do we set up this stand? Because I'm not going to want to hang around and hold it when I'm done, I'm sure. So, okay, I'm going to set the stand up and I'll be right back. Okay, I snapped the stand together. Now this wand is supposed to snap together quite easily. Let's see how much of a genius I am. That was very easy. Um, this is a very long wand very long. Um, let's see if it says how long it is. I think it does. 19 inches. Oh yeah, I already said that. Um, it says longest toilet system handle. Um, some people might like that. I'm not sure if I personally will. And then here is the button, I guess, that releases and picks up the pads. Okay, and then I opened this, um, little package of the pads with scissors and I'm reading the instructions right here it says we're gonna break off the pad oh, it says to cut at the dotted line whoops I didn't do that insert pad slide blue button on fresh brush handle away from you to open the jaws fully line jaws up with a pad Grasp the pad, then slide button toward you until you hear a click. Okie doke. Okay, so I broke off the pad. Here's what it looks like. I guess the blue stuff is the cleaner. Now, instantly I smell, if you guys remember, I did the Scrubbing Bubbles Gel Toilet Bowl Cleaner review. This smells exactly like the citrus one, the blue one that turned green, I mean the green one that turned blue. Um, so this is that same exact scent. Okay, so it says to slide this button, which opens the jaw. 
Um, and then grab the pad like so. And then we're gonna pull it back till it clicks. And this I like, um, well, I think I'm going to like because it's more like a brush and it has all these little things going on here. And the Clorox Toilet Wand does not have that. It's more of a flat shape. So I think I'm going to like this, but we will see. So I'll see you guys in a second. Here's what my wand looks like. Very long. And this part is very small compared to it. So let's see how it works. Okay, so here I am. I'm at my dirty toilet with the brush, ready to roll. Typically, I would lower this water down a lot before I started cleaning my toilet, but this is a different system. This is not going to push the water down like my brushes would, and I want to just see how this works on its own and not with the help of anything else. So we're just going to use it like this, and this handle is so long, like, I wish I could compare it to something for you guys. Um, it's longer than my forearm. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to dip it in the water. Okay, the water's changing colors. Get it a little bit wet, and then I'm just going to start scrubbing. Okay, it's blue. Um, the angle is a bit odd for me so far, but maybe I'm just holding it wrong. Um, it doesn't feel like it's really scrubbing so much as just like wiping, but maybe I haven't got it wet enough. So yeah, it's basically wiping, and I also don't like how the plastic kind of scrapes. Okay, so the water's getting very blue. You hear that? Like, I, I don't really like that. And when you clean a toilet, you want to be able to get up under this rim really well. And it doesn't seem like I can do that very well with this guy. I'm having a pretty hard time with that. But we are going to work with it. And then typically, um, when I am cleaning my toilet. I will also clean up here on the rim with my brush. Not here, but inside here. Because nobody's skin touches this part and it's just convenient for me to do that. Um, this spot right here is taking uh, quite a bit of effort to come off. Yeah, I'm not sure I like these pads. I thought I would like these pads more. And the Clorox. I don't think that I do. I'm going to scrub a little bit more and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. Another thing that I do not like about this. Um, the shape. This isn't what I was going to say. But the shape of this little curve right here makes it, like I said, really difficult to get like up under. And the pad is pretty flimsy. So you can't really do that and I absolutely hate the sound of the plastic grinding like that um and then this was what I was gonna say I hate how it really feels like I cannot clean down in the hole like do you hear that it's it's awkward it's weird um the shape of the brush makes it really hard to clean down in the hole um I feel like I'm being such a negative Nancy, but I really thought I was going to like this, and to be honest, I'm pretty disappointed with it. The blue color is pretty, um, but the wand is a weird shape that I don't like, and the pad is flimsy and not great. The scent is okay, and it, it, it cleaned well, I guess, but... All of my other cleaners would have cleaned the same, um, maybe even faster, because I could actually scrub it and get up under here without problems. Um, yeah, I mean, I do like how the um, 
the handle is long because I can literally stand up if I need to and just clean the toilet. Um, if you're not worried about getting all up under the rim and stuff, and if you have back problems, this could be really good for you because I can literally stand up and do this. I'm, I'm not even bending over at all right now. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, it doesn't do a good job getting down here in the hole. Um, the pad is very flimsy, and also, this product doesn't disinfect. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that the Clorox pads, um, for the toilet one that they have do disinfect. I'm not sure. I will look into that and leave that in the description below for you guys. But this does not disinfect, and I think it's very important to disinfect your toilet while you're cleaning it. So, now that I have sufficiently, um, I'm not even going to say scrubbed, but I have wiped and cleaned the inside of this toilet, let's go ahead and rinse it a bit and then give it a flush. I'm not going to flush this pad either because I really don't trust it. So, I'm going to drop that in the trash after I squeeze it out. Okay, dropped out pretty easily. And then I've got this little stand here, but I'm not even sure how that works. Okay, I'll mess with that in a minute. Let's flush. Okay, there you have it. It looks nice and clean, um, but it doesn't look any cleaner than it would with any of my other cleaners and my scrub brush. Um, I can still smell the scent a little bit. The scent is okay. It's not as fresh as I typically look like a cleaner to be. Um, it's a little bit orangey, but it's okay. Um, so far, I, I hate to be so negative, guys, but I don't really like this. Um, like I said, I think it would be good for someone who has maybe back problems. Um, you know, if they can't bend down to uh, clean their toilet, if their back hurts. When they do that, that might be good for them because you really don't have to bend over very far to use it. Um, that's a plus I can think of. Another plus is the flushable pads, but like I said, I don't really trust that all that well, so I won't be doing that, but I believe they're probably flushable. Um, I mean, it's convenient, and if you're a person that, you know, doesn't clean your toilet very often, and you don't want to stick a toilet brush in the toilet over and over again, a toilet that's really dirty, and then get the brush all dirty and then keep it hanging around, I get that. I think these um, disposable ones are great for the people who don't daily clean their bathroom, but um, I'm, I'm not going to say for sure until I review the Clorox one, but I'm leaning more in that direction so far right now because the scrubbing bubbles was kind of a fail for me, guys. I'm sorry, I hate to say it, I really wanted to like this. But I didn't, and by the way, this brush right here, uh, that looks nothing like how it looks when you're using it. So, that's bullcrap. Um, like I said, the brush was very flimsy. And, yeah, uh, this is a bit cheaper than the Clorox Toilet one. I can't remember the exact price, but I will try to list it below. Also, guys, anything that... You would like to know is usually in the description box so if you're ever curious you can look in there and see if I have answered any questions that you may have it's always good to read that anyway because I give you guys a lot more information down there that I may have forgotten in the video so yeah now that I've done that very long review um, I'm gonna go ahead and go and uh, I did figure out how to use the stand. I was just using it backwards. I'm not even going to move my camera because it's not even worth it for this 